So Kelly and John, again, welcome to Washington Jefferson. We are really proud to have you as part of our community. When the uh, search firm was putting together the uh, description for Washington Jefferson College and, and our, our new president, what attracted you to w &J when you saw that, uh, the values that we had? You know, I think the first thing that attracted me was the college's reputation as a very well-known and well-respected liberal arts college that has terrific pre-professional programs and has a long tradition. So naturally, when a friend called my attention to this and asked if he could nominate me, uh, my first response was, well, yes, I certainly want to talk to Washington and Jefferson. Your qualifications as a leader, as an administrator, as an educator is just outstanding. And when you look at your professional CV, it's, it's uh, something that really fits and matches what WJ is. What we'd like to know more is tell us more about your family, mm -hmm. uh, both Kelly and, and John. Tell us about the family, what you like to do, uh, why you're coming to southwestern Pennsylvania versus Michigan, and what's the difference? Well, I'll start with um, our family. We have five adult children. We have two grandchildren. Our youngest son, Ron, is a freshman in college. Have you had any time to spend uh, any time in Pittsburgh and uh, have any feedback on the, uh, the tremendous experiences that, that people have in Pittsburgh today? Yeah, I think the, the thing that really impressed us were the communities within Pittsburgh. I mean, just they all seem so different. But something I recently found out doing Ancestry.com is um, I have got some family as pioneer families to Washington County, Pennsylvania. That is just an extra draw and I told John I've been so excited reading and finding out more and it kind of for me gives me a little bit of a um, maybe an ownership. It's mm -hmm. hey this is this is my place. I belong <laughs> here. Well, Kelly, welcome home. So Thank you. <laughs> that's good to hear. You know, I would add one thing, too, about uh, southwestern Pennsylvania. We would have come to Washington and Jefferson no matter where it was located because this college is where we want to invest ourselves. Uh, it's one thing to come to a small college in a small, quaint community like Washington, but to be able to say this is also a part of the Pittsburgh metropolitan area where there are tremendous opportunities for our students to grow professionally and maybe even to put down roots and make a career. Mm, very good. Well, you both mentioned the relationship between the uh, city of Washington and Washington Jefferson College. What are your thoughts on those types of relationships and how we go about taking it to the next level? The college and the town go back together to the very beginning. It's not as if the college showed up one day in the midst of an established community I think sometimes it's easy to forget that. But it's important to be in conversation with the community about why it's to everyone's benefit to have a strong, mutually supportive relationship. Uh, in the community of Holland, where Hope College is located, uh, we never make an important decision that might impinge on the interests of our neighbors or our community without first reaching out to engage the neighbors in a conversation about what's best. Things that we do might be perceived by people as impacting their interests and, and indeed we have an obligation with that to be sensitive to it and to even initiate conversations uh, prior to making important decisions to ensure that what we're doing will be understood and supported by our community. Well Kelly thank you so much for uh, the discussion about your family and your interest and uh, again we welcome you to our community and we're so anxious to have you here and so thank you again.